Hi, I'm Jess from Massive Band and uh, today we're going to look at respect and the guitar parts for respect, the key of C. And there are quite a few different ways you can play this. Uh, I'll start with the way that I do on the recording, which is um, using a shape that actually is one that you might know called an F shape. And the first finger has to squash flat and play two strings. <clears throat> then the second finger plays on the next string on the third string, second fret and then the third finger plays on the fourth string. And this shape's great because you can move it all around the guitar and it's really good for the Motown funky type sound. And so I start with a G chord, which means I've moved my first finger up to the third fret. And most of the time I'm just playing on beats two and four like this. One, three, one, three. Another important thing about that is that I'm deadening the strings by letting the strings, letting my fingers release the strings from the fretboard. That's a really important part of funk playing. So you get. So that's through the whole of the verses. And the chorus, you can take that same shape up to a C chord, and the first finger's on the eighth fret now. And it looks like a big slide, but I think it's quite a good way to play this song. So you're playing C, and then down to the original F shape. That chord can take a little while to learn. If you've just started playing guitar, there's a few things you can do. You can play, make it simple by taking the third finger off, maybe just playing um, a three string chord. Or uh, the other thing you could do is um, even just a two string chord. So you could play, and that would still sound cool. And you can move that all around. Um, in this song we made it quite rocky, and so then I started putting in bigger guitar shapes and going to a, um, a bar chord. So that's the bar chord there. Your first finger has to go across the whole six strings, and the second finger is on the third string, second uh, one fret over. Third finger's on the fifth string, pinky's on the fourth string. Bar chords usually take a few months to get used to, but it's worth it because then you can play every rock song ever. I think more people need to learn bar chords. You really have to have patience. They're really fun, they make it sound a full more full sound. And the other thing that um, goes with bar chords is power chords. Bar, a power chord is when you've um, taken off the second finger and you're just really using the bottom of the chord. And these are really easy. These are a great play, way to play rock. First finger, third finger, pinky. So you can play. Um, ooh, ooh, just a little bit, just a little bit. That's respect. Uh, another very important part of respect is the intro, which is probably the funnest bit in the whole song, uh, which is the bending. And um, bending, what you need to know about bending, it's not too hard, but it's good to practice proper technique. What you're doing is um, playing the note and pushing up the string to change the pitch. But <clears throat> the best way to do it is have your ring finger be the, the, note, the finger that's fretting the note. And then the other two fingers sit just behind it and they sort of give you a bit more strength. And it's not your fingers making a bend, it's actually your whole arm. So you should feel like you're using the rest of your arm. So the riff is um, starting on the third fret on the top string and bending, trying to get to that note next door. And it's sort of the same thing, we just jump down onto the second string um, the same shape, but we've moved to the second string and first fret. So you have. 